The town of Millinocket was created by the Maine legislature in 1901 and was given a certain area of land. Because the paper companies really controlled the state at that time, the legislature only gave the town a small parcel of land instead of the 36 square miles allotted to most townships. In the years since, the town has grown and prospered, and now it is quite literally filled up. There isn't any more land, so the town is trying to get more by annexation. Millinocket has reached in its uh, 75 years of existence the outer limits of the municipal boundaries. There's no more land to develop for housing. Uh, it gives us a little elbow room. The actual town of Millinocket is located in a corner of its proper township area. The rest of the land is unorganized territory, owned by the Great Northern Paper Company. The town wants to annex the so-called Indian Purchase, about 18,000 acres. The property itself would not change ownership. It would still be owned by Great Northern, but it would come under the town's jurisdiction, and Millinocket would get the tax money instead of the state of Maine. Millinocket would also get the responsibilities. Well, at, at this point, the only estimate I could give you, since you know I haven't formed my budget this year as yet, uh, using eggs to eggs in, in last year's figures, I would have shown a, a revenue increase rather than an expenditure increase. Uh, we'd probably make money on the deal. You would have to provide some municipal services to it. Definitely, when, when of course, when it's if and if if and when it's annexed, uh, I would have to provide municipal services. Uh, the demand for those services, of course, would be whatever demands of development in the area. Some townspeople are worried that tax rates will go up if the town gets more land. Manager Lachance says that probably won't happen. He feels the town will actually make money from the Indian Purchase since their tax rate is higher than the state's. On the other hand, Lachance says Millinocket is just about at capacity right now as far as housing and services are concerned. If the town does not annex the land, he thinks taxes will have to go up to continue providing the present level of service. Millinocket voters are going to the polls today and casting their ballots for or against annexation. Don Kerrigan, News Center, Millinocket.